Ryan, the last dragon takes us on an exciting journey to the fantasy world of Kamadura, where humans and dragons lived together long ago in harmony. But when an evil force threatened the land, the dragons sacrificed themselves to save humanity. Now, 500 years later, the same evil has returned and is up to the lone warrior, Raya, to track down the legendary last dragon to restore the fractured land and its divided people. This is Raya and the Last Dragon. All right, guys, remember what we're looking for and don't trust anyone. Whoa, what? Hey, baby, where are your parents? Hey, uh, who's baby? What? Really? A con baby? <laughs> Impressive. We could use someone like you. Let's catch you up. My name is Raya. Our lands have been at war for as long as we can remember. Our people never see eye to eye. My daughter, I believe our people can come together again, but someone has to take the first step. Now, in order to restore peace, we must find the last dragon. I wish to join this fellowship of butt kickery. Let's go. We'll have to watch our backs. We're not the only ones looking. Six years of searching. Please, let this be it. Almighty oh, Sisu! Who said that? We really need your help. Ah, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not like the best dragon. Have you ever done like a group project, but there's like that one kid who didn't pitch in as much, but still ended up with the same grade? Uh, we're doomed. You and the dragon are coming with me. Hmm, my sword here says we're not. <laughs> world's broken. You can't trust anyone. Maybe it's broken because you don't trust anyone. You just have to take the first step. I just shape changed. Dragons can do that? Look how close my butt is to my head. It's gonna make digestion so much faster. Brian, the last dragon, Michael, 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 what did you think of the two hour snore fest that was Raya and the last dragon? This was two hours. It felt like it. <laughs> um, why did we not get a fully fledged lesbian film, first of all? You cannot tell me that the main villain and the main character were not. Because Disney is still donating to the Republicans. That's utter freaking accurate. Hour um, and 47 also, minutes, almost two hours. <laughs> also, can we stop letting Aquafina? I mean, imagine that you your land is torn apart Mad Max style and you don't know what to do. And you you only hope is to awaken the very last dragon. This very last dragon is going to save the world and and bring back peace, prosperity, nourishment to the land, etc. You wake that dragon up and it has the voice of Aquafina and the personality of Aquafina. I would probably off myself. Tell us how you really feel about Aquafina there, Michael, <laughs> because that seems very poignant. It's, it it, it fl flames on the side of my face. Um, I'm I, in preparation for this. I, I was trying to figure out redeeming qualities that this this movie might have. It was a movie that was made. It was a movie that was made for the purpose of giving Aquafina her own movie, but also to nominate it for an Oscar. I think it was made to give Kelly Marie Tran a movie because of the issues around Star Wars and how she was yeah. treated? 
because it, it was over. I liked the story. I really did like the story. I thought it was a solid like Disney movie. I don't know if they would put it in like best picture category. I think it was a solid movie. It was like very Disney, like with beginning climax, et cetera, like family death, all that kind of like, it very much like arced the way that Disney likes to arc their movies. It was very like safe for Disney. I will agree with you. I forgot that Kelly Marie Tran had uh, uh, some negative press when she played Rose in Star Wars, The Last Jedi and the whatever, The the Rise of Skywalker. Um, I think you could have got better actors or actresses to do The Last Dragon. I'm not sure if the uh, the reason to go with a female dragon was that. But I I watched the movie trying to get into it and the entire time I felt myself drawing to my cell phone. And if I do that, I have an issue. And I could not get like fully engaged with this movie. And maybe and I know Disney movies are hit and miss a lot of the times and they aren't the best all the times this is just one that i think they put out and people either loved it really or they hated it i not found someone who will say it was an okay movie i might watch it again i might not watch it again unless michael's about to prove me wrong here but i'm going to say for my star rating because i'm going to get into that i'm going to give it a two I think, okay. I think the animation was great. I think the story was okay. Yet again, I'm, I'm kind of pissed off. I can't give half stars right now. But I would not, I'm not telling people to go out and watch this movie. I'm saying if you have two hours, if you have children who you want to put a, t- a movie on in the background, put this movie on. Michael, what about yourself? I am kind of in the same boat. Like, I really, I thought, I didn't hate the cast as much as you did. I will say, I think the reason they it's, have No, no, yet. I shouldn't say this. I did not hate all the cast. I only hated two of the characters. I think they could Aquafina have chosen. Aquafina. Yep. And Daniel Day Kim. No. That... Alan Tudyk. No. Oh, Benedict Wong. Yeah. Um, I think Benedict I just, Wong is good. I just, I, Benedict Wong does great when he's on camera and you can see his facial expressions because his whole character is his facial expressions. Yeah. I just, Aquafina, I think, is very specific. And I don't think she was specifically right for this movie. I also think she was the biggest name attached to the movie. And I think that's part of why. Who do you think is a bigger name than her? Sandra O. Oh? Sandra O oh is great, but I don't think people gravitate towards her as a big name. She doesn't oh, do a lot well, of movies. She does a lot of TV shows, which a lot of people yeah. either know because they know her from me because they're watching it, or they have no clue who she is. Whereas Aquafina is doing a lot of movies where people know her. So I do feel she was the biggest name, and that's part of probably why Disney put her on it. So it wasn't entirely a cast. Because the cast is, I believe. All the speaking roles, like the main characters are all Asian people. So when you're doing that, you're already going to run into, you're going to run into the issue that a lot of people don't know the names. Um, So I think they threw Aquafina on there as like, oh, but people will know her name. And it's just, she was like the wrong fit, I think. Sorry about that. We just had a bit of a internet hiccup there with some audio so we had to cut out a little piece there but i think michelle yo should have been the um uh, the dragon and I, I i mean that because she has the voice right she has the voice and it might have been less cartoony and less animated i just i think michelle yo could have done a better job yeah i think if it was michelle yo that would bump my rating of three to a four or five and i think it would bump it from that like this is an oh this is a fun 
movie, this is safe Disney. I think it would have bumped it from safe Disney to Oscar contender. Which it's an Oscar contender already. I know, but I don't, I think I've, out of the entire list of animated, I think it's fifth place. Like it's hanging on, it's fighting for its life to be on that list. Okay. Well, uh, if you haven't watched our Oscar nomination predictions, which came out on Wednesday this week, please tune in. Please go back and find that episode because we will break down where our biggest, uh, where we believe the Oscars will be going, but are also predictions. So who they should go to, but who they will go to as well. Um, so that was Raya and the Last Dragon on the Cross Aborda interviews, A Night at the Movies with Chris Brown and Michael Nichols Pato. 